Hey, greetings everyone. It's Glenn Calloway coming to you from the basement. Um, fresh off uh, my purchase of the Bob Dylan complete album collection box set, which I am uh, absolutely devouring. Bob has been uh, on the turntable quite a bit over the last few days or in the CD player. Um, been familiarizing myself with some albums that uh, I didn't have in my collection, but I've, I've heard them all, but uh, for various reasons I didn't have them, and um, it's kind of fun to go back and, and listen to some of these albums. So um, today I just thought, it's going to be a Bob Fest. I want to show you my entire Bob Dylan collection. Uh, we'll start with this one, which you're already familiar with. Uh, 47 discs, 41 albums. Uh, it's the complete catalog up to 2012, up to Tempest, and the only thing missing are the three Sinatra tribute albums, if you want to call them, and um, Rough and Rowdy Ways. Everything else is there, and you're a Dylan completist. So let's start with uh, some SACDs. Now, uh, obviously that box set has the whole collection, so a lot of this is just... Uh, uh, same albums in other formats. Um, they released, Sony released uh, these Bob Dylan albums on uh, SACD, I believe in 2003. They released uh, pretty much all of them, and I don't have them all, but I got a few, and they sound really good. Uh, Freewheeling, so if you have a Super Audio Universal Player, these, uh, these are pretty good. I think they came in a box set at one time. Bringing it all back home, of course. Another side of Bob Dylan. Highway 61. Planet Waves. And John Wesley Harding, one of my all-time favorite Dylan albums. Uh, and Love and Theft also came as a Super Audio CD. I also have a couple of MoFi Original Master Recording uh, SACDs from Mobile Fidelity, which sound amazing. Uh, of course, my favorite Dylan album, Blonde on Blonde. One of, I'd say, a lot of people's favorite Dylan album, <laughs> Blood on the Tracks, an incredible, incredible record. These were all numbered, uh, limited edition. This is 2,119. They're usually limited to like 5,000 or 10,000, sometimes they say. And I also have Desire, which is another one of my favorite Dylan albums. Uh, 2,595, that one is. And um, Blonde on Blonde was 1,587. Oh, okay, let's just jump around here. Let me show you what I have on, uh, well, maybe we should do the, uh, yeah, let's do some vinyl. We're just going to jump back and forth here. Um, this is uh, the Dylan I have on vinyl. Not, not a tremendous amount. Let's just do, not in any order, just grabbing them as they're sitting there. Of course, his first uh, Christian album, Slow Train Come. And this is a great record with Mark Knopfler and that on it. The band smokes, and it's, it's just a really, really fine album. Uh, an album that's not as popular in the Bob Dylan canon is Empire Burlesque, although it does have some cool songs on it. I really like Tight Connection to My Heart, which was a bit of an MTV staple back in the day. Uh, Emotionally Yours is a beautiful song. When the Night Comes Falling from the Skies is a great song. Um, they're really the classics. Off I'll Remember You is not too bad. These are the um, classic songs on that album that I think are, are great anyway. Again, Desire, fantastic album. This is what he released when he was doing the Rolling Thunder tour. Hurricanes on this. and Yeah, can't go wrong. Triplicate. I love this album. This is my favorite of the three crooner albums. This is a triple album set. I think it. I think it's great. I like the way Bob did the songs because he didn't use an orchestra and try and pretend he was a crooner from the you know Sinatra days. He used his band, 
So there's a lot of like steel guitar or just regular guitar, drums, bass. There's the odd bit of orchestration, but really it's really stripped down. And uh, I think Bob does a great job in these songs. That's the classiest album cover. This with Rita set. Um, it came in a, a box as well. You could buy like a box set that, that was a bit more elaborate. There's a very classy picture of uh, Mr. D. I love that photo. Um, and then the albums have like the old style uh, late Columbia label, which is very cool. It's really heavy 180 gram vinyl. It's really a, a nice pressings great sounding records um, yes triplicate uh, what else do we have here I got this in an Amazon sale and I haven't even opened it amazon.com had this on sale for $15 Sam St. John actually gave me the heads up that hey you should head over to Amazon they're clearing this freaking thing out and I haven't even opened my copy yet Bob Dylan Springtime in New York. This is uh, cuts from the box set uh, of the Bootleg series, Volume 16, 1980 to 1985. Uh, fantastic. This was a fantastic box set. It had a wealth of great stuff on it, but uh, this covers like the infidel years and that. So it's got joke, uh, altered it takes a Joker man on here, which is a great song. Someone's got a hold of my heart. Um, Don't Fall Apart on Me Tonight, Blind Willie McTell Outtake, which is just a classic Dylan song that was left off of Infidels and should have been included. Sweetheart Like You, one of my favorite songs off of Infidels. Um, fantastic, but uh, still sealed. Dylan. The album that Columbia put out of songs that when Dylan left the label for uh, Geffen Records for a couple of years, for a couple of records, one just for Planet Waves and the live album, I believe, and then came back. But I think they kind of put this out uh, just to piss him off, I think, because he was gone. But it's an album of just uh, covers of weird songs i can't help falling in love with you and uh there's uh what else is on here mr bojangles uh big yellow taxi a fool such as i but there's a couple of great dylan songs on here too spanish is the loving tongue is an absolute gem of a dylan song ah of course blood on the tracks which we already talked about one of uh his most loved albums, Infidels, a big favorite of mine, Sly and Robbie on the percussion and rhythm section, and uh, Mark Knopfler, Mick Taylor, I mean, wow, great, great record. Great starting point for Dylan if you want to get into him is Infidels. And of course, the latest album from Bob in 1920, 2021, Rough and Rowdy Ways. One of my favorite Dylan albums of all time. I play this all the time. I think this is a masterpiece. I absolutely love this album. Okay, one more thing on vinyl. I have the original master recordings, or mono recordings, I'm sorry. This has all the Dylan albums from the debut self-titled album to... Uh, right up to John Wesley Harding. So, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight records, nine album set. Comes with a beautiful book. These pressings are fantastic. If you can get your hands on this box set, which is still available, and uh, I believe you can get it for a pretty good buck, it is worth having. I'm telling you, that's the one I recommend to everyone who wants to have something of Bob Dylan. That's what I would do. Um, amazing, amazing set. All the, all like I said, all the pressings sound great. The um, covers are all well done. I'll pull one out here to show you. There's Highway 60. They're all, Highway 61. They're all glossy covers. Beautiful, heavy. 
covers. There's uh, they come in, in um, a nice insert and uh, original Columbia labels. Fantastic, fantastic set. Okay, now we're into box sets and individual CDs. So let's go through. Um, let's go through these. Uh, now, I have some of the. So let's go through these first. I'll do these ones. Uh, the bootleg series. Okay, so it started off with this. This also comes in a long box, too. Um, volumes 1 to 3, Bob Dylan. They started this thing, the Bootleg series. Um, I can't remember when the first one came out. So this is kind of a career retrospective covering the years 1961 to 1991. So it has outtakes, alternate takes, uh, songs that were never uh, released before, rare recordings, uh, a whole mix of everything, and it's just a gem. This is probably the the best one, actually, just for the wealth of material on it. Um, there is, I'm trying to see, uh, so Series of Dreams came out on this one. Blind Willie McTell came out on this one. Uh, they were like two, a song called Angelina, which is absolutely fantastic. Catfish, about Catfish Hunter, the great ball player. There's just a ton of Farewell Angelina is on here. I mean, this is just a wealth of Bob Dylan stuff. You gotta, you gotta think about it. There's 16 bootleg series sets going from two or three discs up to six discs of material that's of songs that he never put on albums and outtakes and alternate takes and everything. Most artists wouldn't be able to fill up one of these, like 16 of them. Like, think about how prolific this man was. Okay, that's volume one. Volume two, that's volume one to three. And then this is volume eight. I just thought I would have had these in order, you would have thought. Um... Volume 4, here we go. Volume 4 was live 66 recordings. It says the Royal Albert Hall concert, when in actual fact, I believe this wasn't really the Albert Hall concert. Um, but this is uh, from the famous 66 tour when he was, him and the band were booed all over the world for uh, performing uh, electrically. It's ridiculous. Number 5. One of my favorites, Live 75, Bob Dylan, The Rolling Thunder Review, because I saw two shows on that tour, both shows in Toronto in uh, 1975. Incredible. I sat fourth row on the second night, and oh man, I was just uh, uh, one of my favorite concert experiences of all time. Bob was in great voice. It's the band, I mean, Mick Ronson, Roger McGuinn, uh, it just went on and on. It was incredible. I loved it. Kind of like the, the tour of gypsies touring around. And There's a great documentary on Netflix if you haven't seen it. Volume 6, Bob Dylan Live 64, Phil, Philharmonic Hall. Very, all acoustic performance from Bob. Oh, Volume 7, No Direction Home. This is the soundtrack for the great Martin Scorsese documentary that you can also see on Netflix, which is well worth seeing, No Direction Home, Bob Dylan. Volume 8, Telltale Signs. Rare and unreleased, two, 1989 to 2006. This is another uh, really popular one in this series. Um, this covers uh, a lot of the stuff off Love and Theft and those kind of albums. Mississippi's on here, Dignity, Someday Baby. Uh, yeah, excellent, excellent, excellent one, one of the top ones. I should rank these at some point. Okay, uh, Volume 9, Bob Dylan, the Whitmark Demos. These are demos he recorded from 62 to 64. Um, again, two CDs, this one is. I'll just show you. 
I should have been pulling them out, but they all come with booklets and very cool. The Whitmark demos. Okay, that's volume nine, volume ten. Some of these I have on the larger boxes, so that's why I'm going to uh, show you, uh, which I'll show you. So there are, are some holes in this. Volume 15, volume 13, and volume 12. So volume 10, I have, I have some other things I'm going to show you. So I'm going to skip ahead to volume 12, the cutting edge. This focuses on um, the, three, the trilogy of, of incredible music from Bringing It All Back Home, Highway 61, and Blonde on Blonde. Um, just incredible. I really want the deluxe set of this, and I've never bought it, but it, it's, I keep, it's still 145 bucks or something. I'm just hoping one day I see it used somewhere or somebody's selling off theirs. That's what I'm waiting for. In the meantime, I do have this. Man, I mean, this is just, uh, you want to see inside the mind of uh, Bob Dylan and how he created all these songs. This is incredible. The Cutting Edge, Volume 12. Volume 13. Uh, this one turned out to be one of the more popular ones and best ones, which covers the Christian years. Great live stuff on here, because he had a great live band. Trouble No More. I believe, uh, no, I don't have that one in a large set. Another one that I would love to get on in, a, in the deluxe version, which I'll show you in a few minutes. Um, yeah, incredible. And uh, volume 15, Traveling Through. This is the uh, when he was uh, working with Johnny Cash. All the songs they recorded together are on this. George Harrison plays uh, on a couple of tracks on this, although you can't tell he doesn't sing or anything. He's just credited. And... Um, yeah, so it's the John Wesley Harding sessions, uh, Johnny Cash sessions, and stuff from uh, Self Portrait and National Skyline. And uh, yeah, it's just awesome, awesome stuff. Okay, I also have a couple of other, uh, of course, um, I have triplicate on CD as well and biograph now i'd love to i used to have the album set of this as far as i'm concerned when the albums came out in i'm going to say it's 87 or 88 or something when they released the box set i believe it's the first classic rock box set that started the whole craze of artists doing these things i think clapton came out shortly after with crossroads but the biograph one five album set fantastic um, I have the three CD version right now again looking for a good um, a good vinyl set that's affordable so okay now we'll do the rest of the uh, deluxe sets so here's volume 10 I said I was missing a volume 10 Another self-portrait, 1969, 1971, the Bootleg Series, Volume 10. These deluxe sets are incredible. Uh, the box is just so nice. They come with uh, books with just great glossy pictures, so well done, really uh, heavy duty books. Uh, these are the discs. I mean, just a wealth of, a wealth of, of material on these, unbelievable. Here's the book. Time passes slowly. Photographs and more. Okay, that's volume 10. So the only thing I'm missing is a volume 11. Let's see if one of these is called volume 11. No. Uh, volume 
14, volume 11, there we go. So I filled in the holes. It's the complete basement tapes. Now this is raw basement tapes. The one that came out on CD, uh, Robbie Robertson took it and he doctored it and played around with it. So it wasn't really the true tapes. This is actually, if you listen to this, this is actually what was going on in Woodstock at the time. Again, great hardcover book. These sets are so good. I mean, they, they, they come out, they sell for like 150 bucks or something, but they're just so, just a wealth of, uh, of information. And Bob looking pretty uh, scholarly back then. The band, I mean, just full of just great photos. Fantastic. And then, of course, the tapes themselves. Um, there's CDs, there's Bob leaning on the car, and then more CDs there. So that's number 11. We already covered number 12 with uh, the cutting edge. And then volume uh, 14. More blood, more tracks. This is everything you ever wanted to know about blood on the tracks. Every song, every take of every song. It's just fantastic. It also includes, um, if you're familiar, Bob originally recorded these songs in New York City with... Eric Weisberg and Deliverance was the band that he used. Then he went to his farm in Minnesota where his brother lives and they were listening to tapes and he wasn't satisfied. And his brother said, why don't we get this local band to come around and we'll re-record some of the songs and see if you like that better. And so the album came out with kind of a mix of the new recordings plus I think a couple of them from the uh, Deliverance recordings and came out with what the album is that we know is Blood on the Tracks. But if you want to hear the original New York recordings, they're all in here. Um, it, it, definitely an interesting listen. Stories in the Press, which is of course a line from the songs. There we go, there's the hype sticker. And uh, what's next here? Okay, uh, this is the last of the bootleg series. This is volume 61, or 16. This is the latest one, 80 to 85. I already showed you the smaller, uh, the, the LP version I have of it. This is the full deluxe version. This is a great one, too. Uh, six discs um, covering street legal and albums like that. Uh, again, these come with, they're just so well done, these sets. Okay, I've got a couple more things to show you. Oh, I've got one more bootleg series. One more. Another volume 10. I already showed that. <laughs> Getting old. Okay, 
Now on CD, I also have this. I showed the album set. I also have it on CD, the original mono recordings. Like I said, essential if you're uh, interested at all in getting a Dylan box set. This is number one as far as I'm concerned. Okay, two more. Now I mentioned how the Rolling Thunder tour was really uh, a special concerts for me and a special time to be a Dylan fan for me. Um, they released this. The 1975 live recordings, Rolling Thunder Review. And look at on top of the box. Maple Leaf Gardens, Toronto. It's where I saw the shows. They used the Toronto ticket on the top of the box. So this is... Oh, the live recordings. 14 discs of shows here's what the discs look like this is disc 14 um, comes with a book Roger McGuinn and Bob. Excellent, excellent box set. Okay, and one more. I talked about the 1966 shows, the tour, where he got him and the band toured the, the world and got booed out and everything. This is the 1966 live recordings. <laughs> <laughs> this is 36 discs of the tour. Look at that. Basically the same set list. Some of them are audience recordings. Some of them are professionally, you know, they're soundboard recordings. Some are press professionally done. They're all uh, just an incredible historic docu document. I don't know in my lifetime if I will ever get through this whole set. Um, this one in particular is from Stockholm, April 29th, 66. So the set list was She Belongs to Me, Fourth Time Around, Visions of Johanna, It's All Over Now, Baby Blue, Desolation Row, uh, I Don't Believe You, She Acts Like We Never Met, and then they do the electric stuff. Um, Baby Let Me Follow You Down, Just Like Tom Thumbs Blues, Leopard Skin Pillbox Hat, and then One Too Many Mornings and Ballad of a Thin Man are on that one. Um, let's just grab another one at random. And I'll grab the first one. This is April 13th, 66, from Sydney, Australia. She Belongs to Me, Fourth Time Around, Visions of Johanna, It's All Over Now, Baby Blue, Desolation Row, Just Like a Woman, Mr. Tambourine Man. So a few different songs on that one. I'll grab one from the middle here and see uh, this one is from Birmingham England May 12 66 she belongs to me fourth time around visions of Johanna it's all over now baby blue desolation row just like a woman mr. tambourine man this is a soundboard recording so you get the idea that's uh, this is definitely for a Dylan fan uh, not for the casual listener So that is my Dylan collection. 30 minutes to do this. Wow. Um, my Bob hat. A couple of things. First of all, press the like button. 4 o'clock this afternoon, doing a live chat, I believe. Uh, so stay tuned for that. And uh, we'll talk soon. Take care.